want to now get into the, to the physical hardware of the printer. And before I get into the hardware, I thought it might be good just to take, kind of take a step back and do an overview of, of the portfolio to understand where these printers are positioned. So if you're familiar with our industrial line, you know we've got printers. Our overall strategy is to have printers in different categories based upon the price point and the, uh, and the needs of, of the customer. So we've got printers designed to fit into a good category, a better category, and a best category. So the ZT200 is our entry level industrial printer, lowest price point, fewer capabilities. A mid-range printer is the ZT400 series. And then what we're talking about today is our best in class industrial printer. These are the high performance printers designed to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, heavy duty cycle. And uh, so what we're talking about is the replacement of the 105 SL Plus, which is called the ZT510 and replacement of the XI series, which is the ZT610 and ZT620. So you notice a couple things here is that we're, we're completing our naming transition of, of the product name. So one of the big challenges I think we have just from a market perspective is that the chain of the name from XI to ZT600. So the XI name has been around the market for 20 plus years and customers know that name. So one of the things that you know, we're focused on from a Zebra perspective is to make sure that our customers can connect dots between that XI name and the ZT600. We don't want somebody to call us or call our partners and say, you know, hey, I need an XI, and we get the response, well, we don't have XIs anymore. So uh, we, we know that's a, a challenge, and we need to really kind of face it head on and, and do the best we can to, to make that transition and connect the dots for our customers. So another way to, to look at the positioning of the printers, uh, just another perspective is to think about it, the printers on a grid. On the horizontal axis we have volume, meaning number of labels a day the printer is designed to print. And on the x-axis is a feature, so the feature sets of the printer is, is basically what we're talking about there. So again, the ZT200 on the bottom left hand corner, lower volume in, uh, in the context of industrial printers, and a lower, a smaller feature set. Then you should go up the scale, the ZT400, that's our mid-range printer, we think that's positioned right in the sweet spot. You know, great volume and a great feature set. Then as you go up to the printers we're talking about today, we've got the ZT610, 620. It's positioned most features in the highest volume. And then the ZT510, it can pr print the same number of labels, same volume, but just doesn't have the same feature set as the ZT600. For example, you can't get 600 DPI on, on the ZT510, uh, things like that. So this is just another way to think about how, how the printers are positioned that we're talking about today. Any any questions on, on that? Yeah, is there a chart that, because I always do wonder, what's at, at what point do you go from a two to a four, and a four to a five, and a five to a six? Yeah, so it's, it's a couple things. So going back to the volume, you know, it's the number of labels it can print. As a rule of thumb, we don't publish anything to say how many labels it can print just because there's so many variables. That, but as a rule of thumb, what we tell everyone is that the ZT200 can print two rolls of eight inch outside diameter labels a day, two rolls. The ZT400 is four rolls of eight inch OD labels. And then the uh, 610 and 620 and the 510 is really whatever you can push through yeah. it. It's just max it out. 24 seven basically. 24 seven, right. Okay, so four rolls a day, for example, is how many labels? Four by six to four thousand. Four or five thousand. Four thousand. Per roll. Thousand roll. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's good to know. Yeah. So volume is really the linchpin in terms it, of which it, one you go with. It, it, it is. It's and it's all based upon the design of the printer. If you you know take this printer apart, it's virtually all metal, yeah. all, all, all heavy duty construction. You down the ZT two hundred. It's kind of a combination of metal and plastic. So if you try, with your experience, if you try to push more than sure. the n number of labels that can go through the ZT200, it'll work, but it's not gonna last as right. long as what you'd expect. It's gonna die after you know a year or, or whatever the case may be because those gears that are plastic and those plastic components are gonna start wearing out. Sure. So you might be able to get the number of labels you need for the mm -hmm. first little bit, you know, a year or so, but then it's gonna die out after, after a while. Sure.